When we put ourselves into the equation of the greatness of God and the greatness of, uh, of the sunrise and uh, the, the majesty of, of nature and then us in the middle of it and not the other way around, then we can start making sense of this life. Hello world and welcome to another installment of Sunrises in the Galilee. My name is Artemis and uh, this is a space for anybody who's looking to reinvent their life. Um, I've said it before and I'll say it again. Watching the sunrise is one of the best things you can do for yourself in the morning. Great way to start reinventing even if the sunrise isn't very spectacular like what we see this morning. The sun still isn't out of the clouds so maybe we'll see some color and something, something pretty here in a few minutes so stick around. Okay, I stand corrected. That's actually pretty nice. Here's something I thought of as uh, as I was watching the sunrise out of the clouds. <laughs> I'm one spectator and I'm looking at this magnificent sight and I'm like, nah, yeah. Why do I get to judge uh, the magnificence of of something so big and so much greater? This is a this is a giant star that we revolve around that was put into place uh, in, in perfection by the hand of God who created all of this out of nothing. And yet I stand here and I'm like, nah, it wasn't as great as it was yesterday. Don't we do that though, don't we? Look at life and we, and we measure, ah, it's for me, it's not for me. And then we, uh, we, we look at all these different things and we're, we're spectators in this big world, yet we make ourselves to be something, something great. I really think that we need to figure out what our place is in this life. Start looking at things from that perspective. Start, start understanding our surroundings from that perspective. When, we've, when we put ourselves into the equation of the greatness of God and the greatness of, uh, of the sunrise and uh, the, the majesty of, of nature and then us in the middle of it and not the other way around. Then we can start making sense of this life. Check it out, found another roof to watch sunrises from. Pretty nice, right? So what do we do with that? Where do we go from, from that understanding? I think too much of our life is spent in spectator mode versus admirer mode. We insist on criticizing things instead of admiring them. And I think the reason that we don't admire things very often is because we're, we're too busy. What are we so busy with? Can you answer that for yourself? Do you know what you spend your time on? And I'm not pretending to know the answer here. I'm asking because I see that in myself. I see that in a lot of people these days. Why is it that we find it so hard to admire the little things? Is it inspiration? Are we not inspired by watching a sunrise, by looking at something beautiful? Why don't we admire the people that are next to us? If we try to figure out the person that is sitting next to us, I think we would definitely find something that we can admire him for. I never forget this one guy I saw at a New Year's event many years ago. A bunch of people watching the fireworks, right? And he's standing right next to me. And, and this guy, I mean, he had such genuine marvel in his voice and his eyes as he watched the fireworks explode in the sky. He was just like, wow, amazing, wow. He was screaming harder than everybody in the crowd. And, and people were looking at him like he was crazy. I think he was onto something. I think he was in admirer mode. Isn't it time for us to start observing and looking for something we can admire and not something we can critique? I'm just saying.